Hello and welcome to this week's What's Hot. In a week of yet another general election and a Friday the 13th, what could possibly go wrong? Well, what isn't going to change, in the near future at least, is our preoccupation with big bulging eyes, gaping mouths and slimy skin. I'm talking about one of the UK's most popular sports, fishing and angling direct has been a beneficiary not only opening its 33rd store in Barnsley but reporting record sales on Black Friday resulting in the stock ascending on the Monday and although we haven't had a trading update from Moss Bros that stock added 11% on Monday with Scony Botland thinking something is in the offing. Well we last heard from them in September when not only did they announce a return turn to growth, but the launch of their eco suit with fabric made from up to 45 plastic bottles, which would otherwise go to landfill. And that's helping customers do their bit for the environment. Well, there's also been a lot of share price movement in the stock of the former Tory campaign advertiser M&C Saatchi. Well, there's been lots of director buying and institutional interest. It follows last week's profit warning, which almost halved the share price. But it's on the ascendancy, in spite of Kate Burgess's quite brutal opinion piece entitled MNC Saatchi needs to spin hard to win back investors. She writes that the company admitted it may have been over-egging profits for as long as five years. Well, on the downside, a double digit drop of almost, in fact, of over 60% for Tullow Oil following an RNS at the beginning of the trading week. Board changes, production guidance downgrade, and with Chief Executive Officer Paul McDade resigning with immediate effect, there's a vacancy at the top. Well, looking ahead to the rest of the week, we will be hearing from the following on Wednesday. Inditex, Stagecoach, Ted Baker and Tui with an assembly of results and for Ted, a trading update. Now, in September, Inditex said its sales topped £11.4 billion for the first time. Now, the company owned Zara, Pull and Bear, Massimo Dutti, Bershka, Stradivarius, Oisho and Utoku. Well, for Ted Baker, 2019 has been an anus horribilis for following three profit warnings just last week. Another blow came in the form of an admission that it had overestimated the value of, of its stock by as much as £25 million and had called in forensic accountants. Over the year, the share prices dived almost 80%. So founder Ray Kelvin, all possibly has been forgiven. But will families forgive TUI? We also get an update from TUI, but will it reference what the Mirror has flagged up? Perhaps this is the company going to be renamed Grinch after it ruined lots of holidays for lots of families, all to do with an overbooking faux pas. Well, Imperial Leather Soap Maker PZ Cousins is unlikely to surprise investors on Thursday when it releases its latest update because way back in September it flagged up challenging market conditions. Well, Dixon's Carphone has had a pretty tough year as well. 2019 could also be that company's Annas Horribilis. It's not just confined to Ted Baker and the royal family. We find out on Thursday if the new year can herald an energised business. There's been profit alerts, one of, the, one of the biggest data breaches in UK history, being slapped with a £29 million fine for mis-selling insurance to its customers a decade ago and a shareholder backlash over the chief executive's share bonuses. Thursday we also hear from Ocado and since we last heard from the company in September it has created a partnership with Aon, that's one of Asia's largest retailers. It's launched a £600 million convertible bond and announced its first mini customer fulfilment centre in Bristol. Analysts at Hargreaves Lansdowne say, quite matter-of-factly, international expansions cost 
money. Well, on Friday, it is the turn of Balfour Beatty, and any economic commentary analysts say will be worth keeping an eye on, as it may give a better idea of the future direction of the company. Well, I'm just wondering how many RNS statements have been pre prepared for the result of the general election, which will go out on Friday the 13th. Multiple versions of the same document all waiting for a particular party's name to be inserted. So I wonder which party will be saying that Friday the 13th was lucky for them. Thank you for watching. I'll be back same time next week.